Good morning all. I wrap Dean of Linden Associates with your morning flash update and this is for Thursday the 11th of April 2019. So as we're looking at the market, it's about 9.20 in the morning. The one thing I can't get away from as a market technician is lack of follow through. And we just don't have it in the stock indices. In the metals, the gold up sharply yesterday, down today. Silver market, this is a new break low to 1495 recently. The dollar index, which the market had weakened on a little yesterday after looking at the Fed, reading the notes and seeing the Fed was staying in abeyance, well, up a little bit today. It, the, the point I'm making here is you go to risk off, risk on, just like this in these markets, back and forth, and that's one of the things that's hurting it. If I look at the producer price index, I can understand part. Today the number came in hot. It came in up six tenths. They were expecting it only up three tenths. So that's a stronger number. Uh, X food and energy up three tenths, just about one tenth more than the market was looking for there. And personal consumption was up. So the consumer's still spending. Now here's something, and I'll come back to some other numbers in a minute, that is very important. The USDA report that China made a major pur a purchase of U.S. pork over the March 29th through April 4th period. This is in addition to the other one. This was three times larger than the previous high one of 23,800 uh, 23, tons coming in at 77,700. RoboBank came out afterwards, and they're confirming what we've been saying in our newsletters, that production there is now down 30% on the year in China. They see pork imports of China coming in at 4 million metric tons, up about a third more than the, they had thought. But important to this also is it's not bullish soybeans. And the reason it's not bullish for soybeans is that if you don't have the pork there, they don't need the meal to feed them. They've got to rebuild their herds over time. And the fear there, of course, is with that swine fever, when do you start the rebuilding and how do you do it to protect yourself? Remember, there's so many small farms there that the big ones are one thing to control, but then you get the smaller ones and they don't really report. They don't tell you, then it spreads and you get the problem again. Jobless claims came in down 8,000. These numbers just keep falling, signs of a very strong, what? labor market. And St. Louis Fed President Bullard said he believed the sustained yield current inversion uh, could send bearish signs. You know, we all believe that, most of us that are technicians, and he believes the central bank has to tread carefully to sustain the economic expansion. That's code for don't do anything to shake the boat. And in other words, keep everything easy right now. Forget the idea of raising interest rates is probably there. We're going to be talking about this pork situation in our newsletters today. You can count on it. We'll be talking about the impact of the grains. So for those of you that watch the grains and the meats, this is something you want to absolutely keep your eye on. Remember, one of the things that we do also is through our research, if you have our QT platform, you're actually hearing, <coughs> excuse me, listening to us as uh, our, our crews are on the uh, actually broadcasting live. So it's open, you're hearing the broadcast on all these different markets throughout the day. Even Dave, David Hightower, if you watch Hightower Report, he broadcasts about four times a day on what we do. So how do you get access to this if you haven't tried it before? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You simply give us a call at 866-973-2077. You can go to our website at www.irapstein.com. And when you're there, sign up for this free uh, QT Mobile trial. Away you go. I'm Irapstein. You have a good day, and I'll see you this afternoon.